You're working with a group on a low slope roofing project. Fall protection is a must, but there may not be a good place to install guardrails or a safety net system. It may be a finished roof where driving screws is not an option. However, there are still unprotected sides and edges. This may be a situation where you might use a warning line system. It can be used for fall protection, but only if it is set up and maintained properly. Here are the essentials. Warning lines need to be installed around all sides of the roof work area. They have to be at least six feet from the edge. Often you work with equipment that you can ride on or walk behind. Warning lines are needed six feet parallel to the direction the equipment is moving, along with lines at least 10 feet in front and behind. This roped off space is called the work area. Employees must stay within these lines. If you need to do work outside this area, you must use some sort of other fall protection. A warning line system uses ropes, wires, or chains supported by stanchions. The lines themselves must have a minimum tensile strength of at least 500 pounds. You don't want to use lightweight ropes or wire. The lines, including sag, must stay between 34 and 39 inches above the working surface. Flags of highly visible material must be at least every six feet. The lines on a stanchion should not be loose. A knot or double looping will keep the line from moving freely. Adjust your stanchions to keep the lines taut. After rigging the warning lines, they must be able to resist at least 16 pounds of horizontal applied force without tipping over. In other words, if you accidentally run into the line, it should warn you and keep you in the work area. There are often multiple points of access for both people and materials. These areas must be connected to the work area by an access path formed by two warning lines. When these areas are not in use, a warning line must be placed across a path at the intersection of the work area.